Well, the wait is over. Australia selectors have picked 17 players for the Ashes, a group tasked with retaining the urn and winning on English soil for the first time in 18 years. Uncapped Queenslander Michael Nisa is the surprise selection, one of six fast bowlers chosen for the campaign that squeezes five tests and two tour games into a six-week window. David Warner, Steve Smith and Cameron Bancroft have all been selected for their first test tour since the events in Cape Town last year, while Matthew Wade's prolific form with the bat saw him edge out Alex Carey as the reserve wicketkeeper. Chips in, takes it! Nathan Lyon is the sole specialist spinner in the squad, but will have Manus Labashane's leg spin as support. Mitch Marsh is in as the all-rounder, but there was no room for test incumbents Joe Burns and Curtis Patterson. Hones said the eight who missed selection were desperately unlucky not to be picked. Very, very hard for some of them because they were disappointed, but they, they also knew that uh, with 25 here, we couldn't pick them all. Uh, and some probably knew also or felt that they were on the line or line ball. Others thought they were a, a, a good chance of being included. Um, so yes, there were some disappointments and all we can say to them, those fellas, desperately unlucky, but go back and keep doing what you're doing, try to improve your game and belt the door down. We can't say much more to them. It's just the way the selection has gone and desperately bad luck. Friday's announcement sees the return of James Pattinson in a test squad for the first time since February 2016 and it's fair to say the chairman of selectors is thrilled the Victorian is fit and firing. Very excited that he's back, but if I can say that. He, he's been fantastic since he's been back uh, involved with the Australian cricket team. It's all credit to him to, to get back to where he is now after a couple of horrendous injuries that he's had to endure. Um, but he's a bubbly character, he, he's live, he's bowling very, very well and we're very excited to have him back in our squad. Not since Steve War's side in 2001 has Australia won a Test Series in England and while Holmes is confident his squad can break the drought, he stops short of guessing the series scoreline. I think it's going to be a very good battle, I, I really do. You know, England are, are a good side um, with their middle order in particular, that seems to be their core these days. Uh, and then they, they will bat deep as well, so we'll have every respect for them. We think um, we've got a good squad that could really give them a run for their money, so let's hope that's the case, but I, I wouldn't like to make a prediction. Attention now turns to the first test in Birmingham, which starts on Thursday, August 1st, with live scores, news and video highlights on cricket.com.au and the CA Live app.